All right, these ones are honestly one of my favorite ones. I used Facetune to blur the background. I also added this filter. It's like a neon one on Facetune. I mean, look at it. This is so fucking bomb. Hi. How are you doing today? I am so excited for today's video and I know what you're thinking. What the fuck is this on your head? Um, I know it looks ridiculous on camera, but it does look nice on photos because today we're doing a photo shoot at home. Since outdoor pictures are not an option anymore, I was like, you know what, let's just do this. Let's just show people how we can take cool pictures at home and no you don't need a professional camera because i don't have one and you don't need crazy lights i don't have those either we want to create that um vintage vibe when we talk about vintage it means just old and shitty but it's just a fancy term for it if your lighting is shit or your camera is not that good it's fine because you're gonna add some pictures to make it look shittier and older but that's the beauty of it right you can ask someone from your family to help you take pictures i personally don't like someone taking my pictures i get super nervous and awkward and i just don't know what to do with myself i like to take my pictures by myself so that's what i'm going to be doing today you need to have a plan in your head like you need to know what you want to go for you need to know what kind of aesthetic you want to go for for example me i went on pinterest and i picked a bunch of photos that i found super cool i either got inspired or i just wanted to recreate some of these pictures and maybe add a personal touch to it you know you just you're free to do whatever you want okay as long as you like it as long as it's your style go for it so for today i wanted to go for something you know like all oh, messy hair but not really it took five hours to do it and then you know like super soft glam makeup whatever you know i just woke up effortless blah 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 but it it was a lot of work we're trying to go for that type of aesthetic today i'm gonna give you some ideas some tricks on how to pose whatever and in my next video i'm gonna show you how to edit those pictures you can have a shitty video terrible lighting and you can turn it into something really cool with the right apps and by the end of this video and probably the next one you are going to be a professional this didn't work <laughs> So this is my board, it looks really nice. I like those vintage photos, uh, black and white, effortless, super cool, you know, you get the vibe. So for the first photo, I'm just gonna use my white wall. I don't want anything in the back and I'm gonna pose and make, you know, like some cute faces and then just do it like a collage. What's good about these vintage photos is that it, the quality doesn't really matter. So if you wanna use your front camera to look at what you're actually doing and how you pose, you can do that. It's fine because of the edits and all that it will look good you don't have to worry about that okay so for this first picture I'm gonna be using my lights over here I'm sorry for the mess I was doing my makeup I'm gonna be using this ring light it's not really big Oops. if you don't have a ring light or these lights it's fine you can use natural lighting as I said before the best lighting you can get is natural lighting all right my two lights are on I'm gonna be standing right here in front of my camera while I'm filming with my camera but usually the camera goes right here one little thing I forgot to mention it is a very important tool you can buy it it's really not expensive it's this tiny remote if you want to take pictures you just click every time you want to take the picture instead of just going back to your phone and clicking this is going to save you a lot of time so basically what i do is stand up in front of my lights and then i just pose the way i want i like to look straight to the camera and just use my hands i like to use my hands a lot because i have like big cheeks if you have big cheeks just put your fingers on your face like this don't press so much your hands need to be very flexible you know what i mean it just looks like you have a lot of confidence Ta -da! this is the final result after i edited it a little bit this is the collage i was talking about it looks so cool honestly if you want to take a profile picture and you have a double chin just lift your head a little bit and push it to the front but not so much you know like you don't want to look like a turtle so this is the second picture i'm going to try to recreate very simple photo it's a very easy photo to recreate i like this photo because there is no bed frame and i have the same thing i hate having a bed frame it just I don't like it, okay? I like my mattress on the floor, so I'm gonna take advantage of that and recreate this picture. I don't know if it's cool or just broke, but whatever. I like it. 
I'm gonna try to recreate it. I'm gonna use some books and then just throw them here, you know. I also think I'm gonna be using this vinyl over here that my friend got for me for my birthday, even though she knows that I don't have a record player. I don't know why she did that, but okay. Like, I mean, it's useful after three years that it's been literally sitting on my shelf. You know, just like to have a random scenery, like, ooh, look at me, I'm smart and I read and I'm messy, you know what I mean? Kind of vibe. All right, I'm gonna give you a secret. Um, these pants don't really fit, so... That's how much weight I gained in this quarantine. Uh, I like this angle because honestly, like, it doesn't make me look bigger. It doesn't show my double chin. I can show my shoulder a little bit and just tilt my head a little bit and make sure that we can't see my remote when I take my picture. Well, this sounds really weird, but when the apartment is old and you have old furniture, old everything, I don't know, there's just something about it that looks really cool. Okay, now for this third photo, I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did for the first photo. I used pink gift wraps and I just put them on the wall. It's okay if we can see the lines, I'm gonna edit that later. I think I'm gonna wear some sunglasses. All right, these ones are honestly one of my favorite ones. I used Facetune to blur the background. I also added this filter, it's like a neon one on Facetune. I mean, look at it. This is so fucking bomb. All right, so this is my fourth look. I'm wearing a hat, a chain. It's like street style type of um, outfit. And I am going to uh, shoot this one in the laundry room. This was my inspiration. I like the idea of taking pictures in the laundry room. Even though I was worried that someone would just open the door and find me sitting on top of the washing machine, I honestly love these pictures and they were totally, totally worth it. All right, so for this one, I am gonna take pictures in the hallway of my building. I always think that those pictures look nice. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There is no inspiration for this one, really. I just thought that uh, taking pictures in the hallway would look cool. I asked my husband to help me a little bit because I mean, I can do it by myself, but I'm kind of lazy. It's kind of awkward because I'm really uncomfortable when someone else is taking the picture, but you know what, let's just do it. All right, so for the next one, I am gonna try to recreate this photo, but instead of having a bowl of cereals, I'm just gonna have uh, some noodles and a bottle of soju because that's my vibe, that's what I like. I'm going to try to recreate it. Honestly, I, I love this one. I know that it might look weird for some of you guys, but I honestly love it. Today, I didn't wanna use my ring light. I want to use uh, natural daylight. So the key for these uh, pictures is to always find the good spots in your home, okay? Like if you have a nice sofa, you have a nice wall, you have a nice window with a lot of sunlight, that is great. That is a luxury that not everyone has let me tell you this is outfit number one i will take a photo right here i'm just gonna remove these uh pillows and just take a photo because i'm wearing this purple i thought it would look good with that purple so let's start remember when i told you the best lighting you can get is natural lighting where this is exactly what i'm talking about i am using the window right in front of me plus the flash on my phone and this is the result I'm gonna be taking a photo in front of this huge mirror right here. What I love about these photos is the fact that we really don't know where I positioned the camera. I like the fact that there is a mirror in the front and a mirror in the back. It's kind of confusing and I love it. Apparently it's like a portal for demons, but you know what? I just love the pictures. I think they look cool and effortless. I'm gonna take a photo over there with the nice art on the back. Do not complain if you don't have a ring light because the best lighting, I'm saying it again, the best lighting is natural lighting. God's lighting is the best lighting out there, okay? You don't have an excuse. I mean, look at this. I am feeling my... Oh my god! Wow, what was that? <sighs> I'm tired. Oh my god. That was a lot of posing. A lot of posing. Damn. But I had so much fun. I haven't done this for years. Uh, I hope that this gave you inspiration. I hope that you're going to take amazing photos. Why not tag me on Instagram so I can see them if I inspired you or, you know, like encouraged you to do the same thing? Honestly, like we're home. 
why not you know why not i just wanted to talk about something like real quick um uh, when people say oh um first step if you want to take nice pictures you have to be pretty first of all no one should think that they're not pretty and second uh anyone can look good in pictures like i have a double chin i get i gained so much weight i am so not confident but when you find the right angles you find the right lighting you find the right clothes whatever anything that really makes you comfortable just do it i it makes me really sad when people say oh uh, you need to be pretty no you need to be confident you need to be confident to be pretty in pictures i am 100 percent sure that anyone can look good in pictures anyone no exceptions in my next video i'm gonna show you guys how to edit pictures and some tricks and tips and cool apps and if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel and see you next week Mwah!